switcheroo the glasses. There we go. Good morning, everyone. Let me throw these glasses over there. Oh, I forgot a pen. Of course I did. <laughs> Who do we have in the room today? Hit the thumbs up button on the way in, guys. Don't forget. Hey, Jeffrey, what's going on? Are you off today or on your lunch break? It's too early for lunch. Hey, Chrissy. Hi, Carrie Ann. Hi, Lisa. Cheryl, what's up, girlfriend? Celeste. You did not, did you really? Oh my God. Well, thank you. Hi, Jill. Mary Jo, hello. Roxanna, hello. Shelly Balea from Canada. Hi, Pamela. Carrie, what's up? Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Lisa. All in the Attic Treasures, hello. Hey, Kitty Vintage. Hi, Cam. <laughs> Hi, Nova. That's a pretty name, Nova. Hey, Carolyn. No worries. No worries. I gotcha. <laughs> Hi, Lynn Hampton. Hi, Nancy. Oh, it's a beautiful day here today. It was raining earlier, but now the sun's coming out. Hey, Cricket. Hi, Lynn. Oh, thank you. There's more up above. And no, those are not you-know-whats. Those are lobsters. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Debbie from Chicago. <laughs> hey, Maria. Yes, ma'am. I haven't even started. I'm just saying all my hellos to everyone. <laughs> Celeste. Everybody says that. Oh, my God. I thought they were penises. <laughs> I'm like, why would I have penises hanging in my kitchen? <laughs> you know what I mean? But my kids said the same thing, so... <laughs> Hello, Linda. Hi, Carrie from Texas. <laughs> you would? <laughs> well, alrighty then. I wonder what 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 genre of decor that would fall under, uh, Celeste. <laughs> uh, rustic sex. <laughs> <laughs> Vintage sex. <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys crack me up. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello there, value resellers. Rita, hi, kinky chic. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Definitely rustic. Listen to Jeffrey. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, Sugar Bridges. <laughs> Bree Gia. Oh, you'll have to rewind later and check it out. Hi, Wendy. <laughs> Hi, Pat Robinson. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Good morning, Fluffy Otter. Hey, Carol. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. How are you? <laughs> no, Bree Gia. I was showing, they were commenting on my Easter decor, and I said I have more up above. So I turned the camera up, right? So here, let me show you. And I said, and no, those are not penises. They're lobsters. <laughs> Everybody thinks they're penises. Yes, my little bunny butts. I made these last year and I did a video on them. 
they're so cute and so easy to make. So if you go back in my um, my videos from last year, you'll find the little tutorial for those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, I do have to run and grab a pen because I always forget something. You know, it is a classic that I always forget something. Let me go grab my pen real quick. I'll grab two, just in case. And... Hi, Maxie. All the cats are fighting over the open windows. Because they love to sit in the windows. So, yeah, it's hilarious. Uh, my lips are so dry. My skin. Okay. That's better. Okay. D do not disturb Zan. Got my iPad. I have everything except my pen. <laughs> so I'm getting better. I'm getting better. <laughs> yeah, I have uh, Sophie is sitting. Well, I have a, a window above my kitchen sink. So she's actually like standing in the sink looking out the window. <laughs> My daughter's cat was in my bedroom window, and then Binks went in there, so he skedaddled. Um, this I thrifted at uh, Goodwill, I believe, maybe last year or the year before. So this was thrifted, and somebody actually made that in ceramics. And let me show you this other one that I also thrifted that someone made in ceramics. It's gorgeous, but it's a big one. Let me show you. This one I put um, on my, my kitchen table as a centerpiece. Look at her. Isn't she adorable? Look at those eyelashes. What a gorgeous piece. But the person that um, that made it didn't uh, sign it or anything. Yeah, so this was a Goodwill find as well. You get rid of it? No. Oh. They, were, they were asking about this one. Oh. So I showed them this one. I got to go put it back You're on the Oh, just set it on the counter. Thank you. Uh oh, there goes the phone. Ugh. All right. Yes, it is gorgeous. I um, I waited for it to go on sale half price before I bought it. I you think they had like fifteen dollars or something like that. I thought you said. It was like 15 something and then on half price you got it for seven something. Yeah, maybe it was. I don't know. I can't remember, but <laughs> what's up, Michelle Gear? How are you? Oh, uh, Jessica, Jeffrey Ross said hello. Hello. <laughs> She's getting ready to go somewhere. I don't know where. Errands. Where? Errands. Oh, errands. She has errands to run. Uh yeah, so. Right. Oh, you got it all under control, Carrie. Yes. If you uh, if you have purchased from me before, I don't need your information. But if you're new, you will need to email me your information, your real name, YouTube name, your PayPal email address, and your um, mailing address with the zip code. Yeah, I know. I, I really did. I was so happy that it was still there. <laughs> um, but Carrie and some of my other helpers will put my email address in the uh, in the chat. Hey, uh, Trisha. I keep wanting to call you Sandy. <laughs> I say your last name right. Well, how else can you say it? It's Gear. What do people say? Gur. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Wandy's Farmhouse, how you doing? What'd you say, Jess? I said, I don't know, I'd probably butcher it. 
My daughter said she'd probably butcher it. Oh, hey, Ginger Girl Vintage. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, oh, thank you. Isn't it adorable? I just love it. And then I put, um, I put other stuff like around it. Like I have the two little assemblages that Tammy Christofferson made me that I put with it. And I have some other bunnies and stuff. So it looks really cute. Um, I have all Easter stuff. I'm doing great, Wandy. Had a doctor's appointment this morning at 920 did you forget what time it was or lose track of time? Because you did. were like running. Like I here. did. It was like 9 o'clock and I'm like, oh my God, I got to go. And I just ran out of the house. I, I don't know I why. I wasn't sleeping. It would have been like the oh, um, stampede. I, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it was like 5 after and I had to be there in 15 minutes. So I'm like, oh my gosh. All right. TTFN. Okay. See you later. Hey, Cindy. How are you? Yeah, so it is all Easter. Um, I do have some offer up items. And we're going to do a little bit of Easter trivia uh, just to win some cute little tchotchkes. So uh, we'll be doing that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I have one, two, three, four offer ups. And one of them is absolutely amazing. Amazing. So let's get started, everybody. Don't forget the thumbs up. There's uh, only 40 thumbs up and 109 people here. Well, 108. Someone just left. But anyway. Um, aw, thank you, Wandy. You're sweet. <laughs> I, um, yeah, so I was like, I had a doctor's appointment and then I scheduled this sale at 10 and then I look at the calendar. I'm like, oh my God, I have a doctor's appointment. I got to switch the time. Oh, but anywho, here we go. All right. I have a lot of smalls. Um, so let me do some of the smalls first. And I'm already starting to choke. My allergies are just ridiculous. Hey, Judy Scallet. How are you? I hope I say your last name right, Scallet. Oh, Calypso popped in. I didn't see ya. Hello there, Calypso. All right. First, I have this adorable... Uh, it's just a little decoration. It's this adorable little yellow Easter egg with pretty pink flowers on it. It's very cute. It stands like three and a quarter inches tall. It's $6, number 31. $6, number 31 for this pretty little egg. Oh, I forgot to put my, my sale on. <laughs> Turn down my volume. All right. Hey, Pickle Tink. How's it going? Uh, let me make sure I'm in live chat. And let me make sure I'm in live chat on my iPad. And I see um, Deb Riley for the little um, Easter egg, number 31. Thank you so much, Deb. All right. All right. Uh, I have nowhere to put anything. <laughs> I should have brought another table out. Okay. Uh, next up, I have this pretty little set of Easter egg salt and pepper shakers. They both have their stoppers. These are newer. Yay, Carol Ann! <laughs> 
So these are going to be $8, number 21. Whoops. <laughs> $8, number 21 for the salt and pepper shakers. All right. No takers on the salt and pepper shakers, unless my chat is behind. Pardon my face right in the camera, but I have to, I have to reach. All right. Um, next I have, this is a different um, item. This is, uh, it's made in China, but it's absolutely adorable. It's this little chick nightlight that you plug into your outlet. He is absolutely adorable. Let me see, I can plug him in. Hopefully this bulb works that's in here. Oh, I gotta put it this way, <laughs> upside down. Uh, of course the bulb doesn't work. Okay, well anyways, the bulb is not working, but I assure you that it does work. And this is going to be $10, number three. $10, number three. I know, isn't it cute? <laughs> it's adorable. All right. I see Michelle Gear. Thank you, Michelle. If I have a chance later, I'll put a bulb in it, a new bulb in it, so you can see how cute it is. Hey, Terry Nichols, how are you? All right. Okay, I'm just going to leave this here. Okay, uh, next I have this adorable. This is a bunny creamer and sugar how cute are these <laughs> there is no lid this this never came with a lid i actually um was using it for something else other than um a creamer and sugar but that is that is their intended use is a creamer and a sugar um this this set is $12 and they're number 20. $12 number 20. <laughs> oh damn it. I forgot to put my garbage out for the garbage men. Oh yeah yeah. I'm losing my mind. All right. I see Miss Cheryl Haskins for number 20. Thank you, Cheryl. You know, I just can't remember everything. Maria, how are you doing, my friend? All right, so the stuff that didn't sell, I'm going to put on the chair back here. All right. All right. Right? I know. It's ridiculous. It's like... I have so many things going on that I can't possibly remember at all. It's just ridiculous. Okay. Next I have, I have another pair of salt and pepper shakers, and these are just adorable. <laughs> Look at these little chickies. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh, my goodness. Hey, Sue Golombeski. They are absolutely adorable. They both have their stoppers. They have a little bit of crazing. They're two and a half inches tall. And they are $8 and they're number eight. $8, number eight. You got that right, Roxanne. Wait, who said so? Yeah, Roxana. I thought I was losing it, which is highly possible. 
Um, and I see Cheryl Hoskins. Thank you, Cheryl. You got them. They are so cute. I just love them. You can hear them, the, the racket out there. Oh my God, I need my hair cut so badly. The garbage trucks. All right. I have a larger item. This is the cutest thing ever. Um, so we have this little bunny and he is actually uh, made for dips. You put your dip in here, and his ears are actually the spreaders. <laughs> How cool is that? He is the cutest thing ever. And they're stainless steel. The spreaders are stainless steel. Isn't he adorable? Oh, my goodness. This would look so cute on the table for Easter. I mean, that is like such an ingenious idea. Um, and it is $12 and it's number 45. Hi, Deb. $12, number 45. I know, it's so cute. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I see Terry Nichols. Terry Nichols for number 45. Thank you, Terry. All right. Little cutie patootie that it is. <laughs> All right. Um, how about... Um, all right. This is a homemade ceramic piece. The person um, didn't sign it or anything. Look how stinking cute. We got a polka dot bunny, right? Or a lamb. I think it's a lamb. It's a polka dot lamb coming out of a basket with all these pretty Easter eggs. Look at that. And it's, you could use it as a planter. That's probably what I would use it for. But you could also put Easter grass in it and use it to put eggs in too. Uh, hey, Blind by Beauty, how are you? It is adorable. And it is a, a Duncan Enterprises mold from 1980 says that right on the bottom there. It is the cutest thing. I just love it. And I love how she did all these little eggs. This is $12 and it is number six. Oh, and it has a little chip on the bottom right here. $12 number six. <laughs> so cute. Oh, I see Jeffrey Ross. Thank you, Jeffrey. It is adorable. I love it. Look at this egg. Look how cool that is. I love it. All right, let me put this over here. All right. Um, next I have, this is really adorable too. Um, this is a little crackle bunny. It's made like this on purpose with the crackle effect, which I love. It reminds me of crazing. He is adorable. And he is seven inches tall. <laughs> Look how cute he is. I love it. And he is $10, number seven. $10, number seven for the little crackle bunny. He's so cute. I love him. Mama J. Hey, Mama J. Hello, Antiques from Karen. 
And Terry Nichols is going to take number seven. Thanks, Terry. All right. Okay. Um, I meant to get some fairy lights to put in here. And I have to clean this up because there's some uh, sticker residue on it. Um, but I have this. This would look really pretty with uh, fairy lights in it. I have this really pretty frosted egg. Uh, definitely, I would put fairy lights in here. It does have a chip right here on the, the tip there. I don't know, there you go. Now you could see it right here. And I would maybe file that a little bit so that it's not um, sharp. Um, but that seems to be the only issue. Um, I don't think there's any other, let me just double check. I just wanna make sure. Nope, I think that's the only issue. And this is $10, and it's number 46. $10, number 46. Let's make sure we got it on here properly. <laughs> there you have it. There you go, Cheryl. That's the right number. <laughs> you got it there, Miss Cheryl. Okay. Um, Cheryl, I will throw, um, a set of fairy lights in there for you, okay? I just got to make a note to myself so I don't forget. <laughs> All right. I have a bunch of extra ones from Jessica's, uh, bridal shower, so that'll work. Hey, Peterson, how's it going? Oh, you're welcome. All right, um, how about this adorable, this is a um, UCGC Taiwan. Look at this little bunny girl. <laughs> Isn't she the cutest thing ever? Oh my goodness, I think she is adorable. <laughs> she is, let's see how tall she is. She is six and a quarter inches tall, and she's about four and a quarter inches wide. And she is absolutely adorable. She is $10, number 40. Isn't she cute? <laughs> $10, number 40. And I see Belinda Carroll. Hi, Belinda. I didn't see you sneak in. Congratulations and thank you very much, Belinda Carroll. All right. Okay. I have a vintage... Um, Lamb planter. Uh, look how cute. Perfect Easter colors, right? Adorable. Uh, I have no idea who makes it because it's not marked. Uh, let me give you some measurements. It is four and a quarter inches tall by five inches long and it is $12 and it's number 12. $12, number 12. Hey, Lovi. Oh, isn't it cute? Oh, you gotta go to work. Oh yeah, fun, fun. Hey, Rebecca, you got it. <laughs> Mama's treasures. You got it. Thank you. Okay. All 
Rebecca. Perfect. All right. Uh, I'm going to do a trivia question. And the first person that I see that answers it correctly will win this cute little, little lady here. She is like a bunny gardener. <laughs> she is adorable. So, let me see. I got to find a really good one. Okay, here is the question. Um, and it's multiple choice. So I will, I will give you the four choices and you have to pick the correct one. It's going to be um, A, B, C, or D. How did eggs come to be associated with Easter? Is it A, edible treat, easy to decorate? B, came from a chicken that is a symbol of Easter. C, because it was inexpensive. Or D, it was considered a symbol of life. Holy shamoles! So, <laughs> the chat went crazy. So the winner is uh, Pamela Hammett. It was D, and she was the first one in the chat to enter letter D. So it is Pamela Hammett. Congratulations, Pamela. You get the little gardening bunny. I'm just writing it down. Gardening bunny. All right. There we go. I'll put that back over here. Congrats. All right. Um, I think I'm going to do an offer up item. Uh, trying to decide... Okay, we're going to do this one first. All right, let me just move some of this stuff over so I have a little more room. All right, you're welcome. So if everybody wants to refresh or whatever, um, I am going to start this out at $10, just so you know. So, and then I will show you what it is. Uh, it is this uh, Bethany Lowe paper mache bunny. Um, this is on the older side. Now, it's in really great uh, condition as far as paper mache goes. Hi, April. Um, the only issue is that it has some uh, areas here where it's lifting up and pieces like... Um, have chipped off in other areas. Can you see that where it's like, oh, I just knocked a piece off. You see what it's doing? Um, but it's it seems like it's just in this area. Um, but you can see there is her little sticker, Bethany Lowe. Um, and I stuffed these little flowers in here because it is actually like a little vase. And yeah, so that is that is it. So right now I see uh, the high offer is Michelle Gear at nineteen dollars, and Celeste is out. So please, if you are out, make sure you type out. Uh, Lynn Hampton is at twenty. 
Okay, Michelle Gear is out. Hey, Nita May. How's it going, girl? So the high offer right now is $20. Anybody want to go higher than 20? If not, I'm going to start to call it. Oh, Sugar Bridges. Sugar Bridges is at 21. All right. So Michelle is out. Celeste is out. So... It is between, uh-oh, Sugar Britches and Lynn. Lynn is at 22. Hey, Teresa. Sugar Britches is out. So it looks like um, it's Lynn Hampton right now for $22. So I guess I will call it. Uh, hang on. We are going once. We are going twice, and we are sold to Lynn Hampton for $22. Congratulations, Miss Lynn. I know you love your bunnies. Yay! <laughs> Congratulations. Now I got to find somewhere to put it. There we are. All right, let me see here. Oh, uh, here it is. And it was, tw uh, it was $22, $22, I'm sorry, Lynn. And that is actually number 49, $22 to Lynn Hampton. All right. Okie dokie. Let's carry on. I have an awesome Peter Rabbit uh, piece right here. It is this adorable Peter Rabbit basket. The handle alone is beautiful. Then we have, of course, Mr. McGregor's garden. <laughs> and then it says, Peter Rabbit rushed into the tool shed and jumped into a can. It would have been a beautiful thing to hide in if it had not had so much water in it. Um, Mr. McGregor hung up the little jacket and the shoes for a scarecrow to frighten the blackbirds. Um, so there's Peter in the watering can, kind of looks like my bunny butts up there, <laughs> but this is a beautiful, uh, Peter Rabbit basket. Um, it measures, uh, eight and three quarter inches tall and seven inches wide. And this, it does have a little bit of crazing, but there's no chips and no cracks. It is $14, and it is number 16. $14, number 16, for the Peter Rabbit basket. And I see Pamela Hammett. Congratulations, Pamela. You got it. It is so cute. I love it. All right. Okay. Next I have um, this adorable... Pillar candle holder. Of course, you don't have to use it as a candle holder. You could actually set a plate on here if you wanted to and put like um, cookies or whatever on it. It is the perfect Easter colors. 
Um, it does have a couple of little chippies. There's one here. There's one here. And there's one here. Um, but I will touch those up for whoever purchases it with some watercolors. And you won't even be able to tell. Um, it's really pretty. Perfect colors. And it is uh, three and three quarter inches tall. And the top is four and a quarter inches around. And this is $10, number 32. $10, number 32. Perfect for spring, Easter, summer. Awesome colors. Oh, the, oh, hey, yeah, I didn't even think of that. Let's see how that looks. Let's check it out. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. It's an egg pedestal. <laughs> yeah, that looks good. That's a great idea. Great idea. Absolutely. All right. Moving on. Up, oh, Cheryl. <laughs> Cheryl, you like that idea, huh? <laughs> yeah, you could put, well, yeah, you could put, um, <laughs> she sold it. Yes, she did. All in the attic treasures. She sold it. Awesome. <laughs> uh, what number is that again? 32. <laughs> Great idea. Gotta think outside the box. Yes, she did. See? <laughs> Thank you all in the attic treasures. <laughs> Okay, I'm really confused because what happened to my video here? Okay, I don't know why, but my my video was paused, so I was still showing the Peter Rabbit basket on my iPad. <laughs> like, what the heck? No, buddy, get down. Get down. It's Binks. And my nose is running, but I did make sure to bring myself some Kleenex. Hi, buddy. What's up? Hi. You want to say hi? Or you just want to stick your butt in the camera? Huh? Say hi. Up here, look. What are you smelling? There's nothing there for you. He's got such dry skin. It's like dandruff. Come here. There, say hi. Say hello, everyone. Booty cat. <laughs> okay, no, no, gotta get down. All right, well, there's that. <laughs> Did you really, Jeffrey? <laughs> Did you have any issues um, with the links? I, I had to delete the other links. <sighs> hey, what's up, Gretchen? Gotcha. All right. Let me just take a sip of my iced tea and we'll move on. Really? Olive oil. Okay. Well, he, he eats um, dry food. He doesn't like any of the, uh, of the, he's, see how he's on special food. Did you, Maria? Thank you, honey. He has, um, he had problems with his, um, bladder, um, blocking, you know, and he couldn't pee. So he had to have surgery to fix it. So now he, um, he's on special dry food and I had him on the moist food so that he gets extra moisture but he doesn't like any of the, the canned um, uh, prescription food. 
So I would have to put um, raw salmon, really. He eats, he'll eat tuna fish. He'll eat tuna fish, but yeah. So they said he really doesn't have to have the canned cat food as long as he's eating the dry. But he just seems like he's always hungry. I don't know. Oh, you want a sticker, Maria? Okay, I'll mark you down for a sticker. Oh, that's another thing. I went back and I watched my last uh, live sale video. And I wrote down everybody that um, typed in a, the letter B for a sticker. And I have, I still have stickers left. I don't know, it was, there was a miscount. Yes, it's very expensive. That's what he's on. He's on um, uh, uh, urinary uh, food. Okay, so, all right, let me write it down. Okay, stickers. Yeah, because I went, I, I went back and I wrote everybody's name down and I didn't sell as many as we thought. We thought we sold like 45 or so stickers, but we didn't sell that many. So, yeah, I did, I did mark down because uh, I know somebody wa wanted three and somebody wanted two. I did, I did account for that. So, my my cats don't like the ca the canned food, and I tried all the flavors they have, and the only one that they'll eat is the pate, um, in the big can, and they don't eat it like, you know, they don't like garbage it up. They just like nip at it. Yes, uh, Jeffrey got three. Tiger got two. So, all right. So, stickers. Let me mark down Maria. California. Um, does anybody else... Okay, this is what I'm going to do really quick. Hang on. read off all the names of the people from my last live sale that wanted stickers. And if you're here and I forgot you, then let me know. Okay, we had Tiger for two. We had Gina Marie. We had Bree Gia for two. We had Auntie K, Vintage and Vinyl, Carolina Princess, Wendy Melton, Triple B, Carrie Costa, Cindy Warman, Victoria H, Mary Cox, Randy Heilman, Joanne Johnston, Yvonne Gravat, uh, Nancy from This Overstuffed House, Deb Riley, Danny Calver, Arlene Hammerman, uh, Tony Butterfly Nurse, Cindy J, Wendy Levon, Ginger Girl Vintage, and Deb Vitale. So that was everybody that I saw from that sale that I wrote down. Hello, Heaven. Heaven Bound Farm. Nita May wants a sticker. Okay, Nita May. I got you, girl. I got you, Nita. Um, okay. Paula. Okay, thank you, Paula. Oh, you know what? That's because I included it in your order. These are the people that only um bought stickers and nothing else. So yours went in your package, Paula. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. Everybody that bought something in that sale, the sticker went in the package. Um, so, um, who else? Lynn Hampton, you said you wanted one, right? Okay. Um, okay. I, I didn't, I didn't have you down, Mimi, but I'll, I'll write you down now. Cindy. Cindy. Mimi's Treasure Cottage. All right. Diane Broderick. Okay, I have to see how many more. Um, I have to order more, but I have to see how many more I have left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I had eight, eight that weren't accounted for. So now I just sold five. So I have three left. Okay, so there's there's actually three left. Oh, you want two, Maria? Okay, so then there's two left. She wants times two. Okay, so I have two stickers left. Hopefully, I didn't forget anybody, um, but I will be ordering more. Okay. Oh, you didn't see them? <laughs> there they are. The sledgehammers um, signify when he locked himself in the bedroom and I had to bust open the door with sledgehammers. You want us? Okay, Belinda. Belinda. Okay, I got gotcha you for one. <laughs> like those, huh, Rita? <laughs> okay, I have one left. <sighs> oh, Celeste. Thank you. Okay, I have none left. Celeste. All right. All the stickers are now accounted for. Thank you, everybody. So I will be ordering some more, and I will have more very shortly as soon as I'll order them today and see, you know, depends if people ask for them. I don't want to order them for nothing, you know what I mean? Okay, on with the sale. All right. Okay, next up, I have... Um, this set of just plain white bunny salt and pepper shakers. These are not old. They were made in China, but they're absolutely adorable. Hi, Lori Wardley. And they're just very uh, plain and simple. They're $10, number 36. $10, number 36. Oh, I see Leona Moscato. Leona, you got them. Thank you so much, Leona. Okay. And guys, if you if I should make a mistake or whatever, please make sure you let me know. All right, let me put those over there. Next, I have this adorable, adorable little figurine. <laughs> Look at this little guy. 
He's like, I'm here. <laughs> Here's Johnny. He is too cute and it's just a little, you know, decoration. Um, he's got a little bit of a, a paint loss over here where the paint chipped off, but it's not an actual chip. Um, he does have some crazing and he is three and a quarter inches tall. <laughs> Look how cute he is. Uh, he's $8, number 25. $8, number 25. Oh, I see Terry Nichols for number 25. Thank you, Terry. He is a little cutie patootie. That's for sure. All right. Um, okay. Uh, I have, let me do these. First of all, this is so stinking cute. Look at this little bunny dish. Isn't it adorable? I mean, you could use it to put little candies in. You could use it as a spoon rest on your stove. I mean, he is adorable. You could just prop it up on a shelf. So, so cute. Um, it measures, let me see here, six and a half inches long and five inches wide. Cheese, cashews, hey. It's $8, number 37. Eight dollars, number 37. <laughs> I know, isn't it cute? Hey, Jerry. I love it. I love the colors. I see Carol Ann. Cashews, yes, Lori. Carol Ann, thank you so much. Uh, what number was that? 37. Carol Ann. All right. I have a few Carol Anns, so I make sure that I got everything spelled the right way. And <laughs> All right. So then, next up, I have, this is awesome. This is uh, made by Metlox, California. I'll show you the back. And it is this adorable little plate with carrots on it. Tell me that isn't perfect for Easter. I just love it. I love the, the shape of it. I love this design on the border. It's so pretty. It measures um, eight and a half inches around. And it's in perfect condition. There is... No cracks, no chips, eight and a half inches around, beautiful. And it is $12, number 38. $12, number 38 for the carrot plate. Hey, I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. How do you like that? I see Miss Cheryl Hoskins. You got it there, Cheryl. All right. Uh, number 38. Beautiful. Okay, next I have another absolutely adorable piece. And this is um, uh, an egg plate. Not You could use it for deviled eggs, but it's actually, I believe, made for you to put your decorated um, hard-boiled eggs on. Look how cute. Absolutely adorable. Look at his little feet. 
it's made by it's it's from china um but it's in perfect condition there's no cracks no chips um it is 11 and a half inches long and it is about eight inches wide. Just adorable. I love hard boiled eggs. Love them. Um, hey, Nathan, how's it going, buddy? This is $12 and it's number 39. It's a good size. 12 bucks, number 39 for the little egg, bunny egg holder. Oh, Jeffrey Ross. I got you, Jeffrey. Thank you very much. Hey, Jeffrey, um, did you get your, um, I know you had to have gotten your last package. Not the one from this past Saturday, but the one before where I included that little gift in it. <laughs> hey, Tammy, how's it going, hon? Tiger. Please don't block you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're not sure? Oh, trust me. You would know. Well, it wasn't. It was from last sale. Not, not the one this past Saturday. The one before. I think. Or did I put it in this one? Oh my God, now I can't remember. I don't know. I can't remember now. Anywho, you're getting a little something extra in, in a package. I think I already sent it. Check my Instagram messages after the sale. Okay. I, I was on earlier today, so it must have been... You don't remember, oh my gosh, you don't remember getting a nude lady in your package? It's actually, <laughs> it sat on an ashtray or something and the smoke would come out. <laughs> oh my God, no. <laughs> well, I know I sent it. So I hope you didn't throw it out. It was something that I purchased from Vinny just because I thought it was funny. And then I'm like, why did I ever buy this? And I said, you know, that's something Jeffrey would appreciate more than I would. <laughs> so I threw it in your box. Oh, oh, thank you, Veronica. All right. Uh, let me see what else I have here. Okay. Okay. I have this adorable little bunny in a cart. Uh, he does not come out of the cart. Um, I just put this plastic Easter egg in his lap um, because there's a spike that's coming up out of his lap and um, it really didn't look very good. <laughs> so I figured let's put something there. So we have an Easter egg on there. Very cute. His ears are done up with little ribbons. Yes, yeah, see, look. <laughs> That's why the egg is there. <laughs> but anyways, this guy is $10, number five. $10, <laughs> number five. <laughs> You know, right? <laughs> now you know why the egg is there. 
<laughs> I know, right? Okay, $10, number five. <laughs> Cheryl Hoskins. All right, Miss Cheryl. <laughs> Oh, there we are. Okay, you go back over here, sir. You've been very bad. You stay there. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Jeffrey. <laughs> I'm snorting over here. All right, let's do another trivia question. <laughs> Uh, let me see here. So, this uh, question, the person will win this cute little resin bunny. Bunnies. How cute is that? So, let me get a good question here. Um... All right. Um, okay. What is the most popular jelly bean flavor? Is it A, cherry, B, strawberry, C, lime, or D, grape? We have a winner. The very first person. Sugar britches. <laughs> yep, sugar britches. You got it. So you get this cute little bunny. And I don't have your info, Sugar Britches, so please make sure that you um, email it to me, okay? Uh, let me write you down on here. Sugar Britches gets the bunny. The bunny with the bonnet. All right. Okay, so that's done. Let's put that little bunny over there. This one got one, so we'll put that over there. All right. Next up, I have an amazing, uh, an amazing basket here. This is so cool. Look at, look at the handle. See the message above. From you, Peterson? Which message, Peterson? Oh, she wants California Thrifter to have it. Okay. So we're going to send the bunny with the bonnet to Maria California Thrifter. Okay. Got it. Okay. I got it. Okay. So. One of my cats just knocked something down. I have no idea what the heck it was, but I heard it. I heard something. I don't know what. All right. Sorry, guys. I still don't know what, but I did hear something go boom. All right. So as I was showing this adorable basket... Um, this is Bunny Land 
uh, hand-painted china. And the date on it is MCM XCI. MCM XCI. Um, but here is the, the stamp. And this basket measures... Seven and three quarter inches tall, and it is nine and a half inches long. 1991. Thank you. I hate Roman numerals. Thank you very much. Um, this adorable basket is $14, and it's number four. $14, number four. Pamela Hammett. I see Pamela Hammett. You got it. All right. Number four. Thank you so much, Pamela. All right. Uh, let's do a couple more smalls, okay? I am selling these two little figurines as a set. They are absolutely adorable. <laughs> Can we just, like, say how stinking cute these are? Look at them. <laughs> Look at his little ducky butt. <laughs> Absolutely adorable. Um, this one is made in Taiwan. And this one doesn't have um, uh, anything on it. So I don't know where this one is made. Uh, but you get both of these for $10, number 35. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I see a uh, Cheryl Hoskins. You got them, Cheryl. All right. What did I say? Number 35, Cheryl Hoskins. Thank you, Cheryl. Okay, so I marked something wrong. Hang on. I have two things marked 35, but it really doesn't matter. All right, Cheryl gets those. Uh, where are my little bunny or ducky chick figurines? Where are they? Paradox. Okay, nope, that's not it. And those were ten dollars. All right, sorry, I, I had made a mistake on my numbers and I just had to had to fix it. All right. Uh, let me move this over here and move some of this stuff over that I haven't done yet. All right, let's do these here and move this over. This has to go here. All right. All right. Sorry, guys. All right. I got to put my sold stuff over here and make room for the stuff that I haven't shown yet. You know the drill. You know the drill. Ugh. 
Hopefully I don't drop anything. All right. I didn't sell that yet. All right, these are sold. Okay, what a gorgeous day it is today. Oh my goodness. I went out the other day and did some work in the yard and boy, my allergies were a mess. I thought I was actually getting a really bad cold, but it was actually um, my allergies, which I really never knew I had, but obviously I do. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Okay, that's much better. Now I can, I can actually uh, move here. Okay, all right, so I have next, um, I have two uh, vintage Avon pieces still in the box. This is the one box, and I will show you. I just love these. I think they're just beautiful. All right, so... And they've never been burned either. We have this gorgeous bunny votive holder with the candle, brand new. I absolutely love this. Um, so, as I said, I have two of these. There's this one. And I will show you the other one as well in case, you know, you like them, but you only can buy like one or whatever and you want to make sure you know what it looks like. So, and then there's this one. Now this one, the candle has never been burned, but it, it melted at some point. Maybe because it was stored where it was warm. Um, I don't know what the scent is. It's very pretty, I can tell you that. And these are from 1980. Wow. 1980. Um, so there is some melted wax on, on this bunny from the candle melting. Okay. So those are the two... Um, choices. So let me, uh, let me see. How was this in here? This way. Okay. Okay. So for this bunny, this one, it's $12 and it's number 17. $12, number 17. Um, I see Pamela Hammett for this bunny, okay. Uh, and then for this bunny, it is also $12, and this one is 17B. 17B for bunny. And Pamela Hammett also, all right, so Pamela, since you bought both, I will sell them both to you for $20 instead of $24. All right. Happy Easter. <laughs> so those will be... $20. Hey, my friend Poodle. How you doing, love? Oh, you're welcome. You're very welcome. Because, I, you know, I was going to sell them as a set, but I didn't know if people would want to buy them as a set. So that's why I decided to do it separately. 
Well, good. I'm very glad to hear that. Okay. Next up, I have this little set <laughs> of little duckies with gold uh, bills and gold tootsies. <laughs> They're absolutely adorable. No cracks, no chips. Um, I don't know where they're made because I can't really, um, it's missing the name. So I don't really know. But you get the set for $10, number one. $10, number one. Jane, Jane Newhouse, you got them, sweetheart. Thank you so much. I didn't see you pop in here. <laughs> All right. Congratulations, Jane. Okay. Next, I have another set of bunny figurines. Hi, Binks. What's up, dude? <laughs> Hi. How you doing? Um, these are just very plain and simple. They have pink eyes and pink ears. And then they're just all white. Very, very uh, pretty and plain for those of you that don't like a lot of color. Uh, it's $8 for the pair, number 23. $8 for the prayers, number two, for the prayers. Oh, my God. <sighs> for the pair. <laughs> I just saw, uh, what's her name's post about Scott. Holy schmoles. Um, I see Polly's Projects for number 23. Yes, prayers are always good. I know, I felt so bad for Scott. My gosh. Congratulations, Paula. Thank you so much, hon. Uh, number 23. Hi, Banks. Can you get off my paper? I guess not. Because <laughs> he's still there. Still there. <laughs> All right, so I have this other little tea light holder, and this actually matches, I think, the ones you just bought, um, Pamela Hammett. It is this little guy. Now, he's not Avon. He is, he's made in Taiwan, and the company is called Beacon Hill. And... Yes, exactly. He will sit anywhere. He doesn't care. Uh, it's just adorable, and I think it goes so well with the other little Avon ones. Yeah, definitely will match. Um, he is dollars number 11. $6 number 11. No cracks, no chips. Perfect condition. Shirley Pearl. Look at these people. All three of you popped in. I didn't even see you. Hello. Hello. Shirley Pearl gets the little bunny votive candle holder. How y'all doing today? Number 11, Shirley Pearl. Thank you very much, Miss Shirley. She says, hi. <laughs> I know you were just stalking in the background. That's all. That's okay. I do that all the time. <laughs> hi, Mama J. Has Scott put up a video since Salem passed away? Because I haven't really um, been watching videos because I've been trying to get ready for the sale today. Good morning, Pamela13. Oh my gosh, there's 242 people here and only 133 thumbs ups. He has? Okay, I'm going to have to check it out. I was curious because I know he said, you know, to give him a little bit of time. Okay. 
Yeah. All right. Um, okay. Let me do this. This is just, I'm, I just love this piece. This is somebody's uh, homemade uh, ceramic piece. And it's just so cute. <laughs> it's like comical. Look at this bunny. <laughs> he is so cute. I don't know why she just painted him all white. He's holding a, a plain white egg. He's got, the only thing that has color is his tail and his little scarf that he's wearing. It's a very pale pearl yellow. Um, and his ears, the inside of his ears are a pearl yellow. I know, it's hilarious. Yeah, I know. Look at that tail. Holy moly. So this bunny is actually, I think he's cute. <laughs> he's kind of squirrely looking. <laughs> um, he is 10 inches tall. Um, he has a couple rough spots on his ears. This one is like a little teeny chip there. But I think he is just adorable. He reminds me of a cartoon rabbit. That's exactly what he reminds me of. Um, he is $14, number 28. $14, number 28. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Doesn't he look like a cartoon character? He's hilarious. All right. Okay, we are moving along. And I think I saw Jane Newhouse for number 28. I got all my packages today, Jane. Thank you so much, sweetheart. Oh, and I got, is Maria California Thrifter still here? Um, Number 28, Jane Newhouse. I got my little, um, my little, uh, figurines, um, Jane sent me that you got for me at one of her sales. They are adorable. All right. So next I have, um, this reminds me of something that Kim from Oh My Vintage would love. Um, but it is a set. It is a set of four. Um, hang on just a second because I I forgot to take off this old sticker holy cow anyways um, these are made in China they are newer but I just love them and I Okay, so we have, they're, all four of them are white with gold ears, and that's it. This one, I added uh, flowers to. Hey, Beth! Angel Burba, hello, sweetheart. Some bunny is thinking about it. <laughs> um, I put this little arrangement in here because I had these pretty gold uh, roses with the gold tips just to add a little bit of color with the berries. So you get this big bunny planter. And then you also get these two bunnies that match. And this little guy. So it's all, it's the set of four. Um, so the little guy, he measures five inches tall. This guy, he measures six and a quarter inches tall. This one here 
He measures, oh, five and three quarter inches tall. And the planter, he measures five and three quarter inches tall. So you will get the set of four for uh, $30. Uh, and they are number 18. $30 for all four, number 18, including the flowers. <laughs> All right. And I think I see Belinda Carroll for number 18. Thank you very much there, Belinda. Belinda Carroll, number 18. All right. Time for another offer up. So, everybody get ready. Alrighty, let's see here. So, um, of course my candle is not going to work, so we'll use the new one. Sure, why not? Come on. What's, what is the issue with these candles? They're terrible. They don't want to burn. Oh, there it goes. It's starting to catch now, finally. All right. So, I have for you today, and I will just tell you ahead of time that this candle or this item candle, oh my God, is going to start at uh, $25. Um, so let me, oh shit, a candle. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> All right, so. You are bidding on this gorgeous Fenton fairy lamp. I don't think that this, no, it does not glow. Uh, it is absolutely gorgeous. It still has the Fenton sticker. Um, the bottom is iridescent. There's the candle, you can see it in there now. It's very hard to see with all the lights on, but it's just beautiful. Let me show it up close so you guys can see how pretty. Perfect springtime Easter colors. It is absolutely gorgeous. Yes, I know. It's a gorgeous, like, iridescent pink. It almost looks kind of like a pinky purple, but it is just gorgeous. And I believe it's signed... It is signed on the inside by the artist. Uh, yep. And numbered. Number 121 of 150. Hand painted by S. Davis. So, there it is. See you later, Maria. Thank you for stopping in, sweetie. The Pinky Tuscadero. <laughs> Holy cow, you're going back. That was one of my favorite shows. I loved Happy Days. So we are at $42 so far with Cindy J being the highest offer. Just a beautiful, uh, I love it. Hi, Janet Green. How are you today? Doing my little Easter egg extravaganza sale. <laughs> I know, me too. They're just gorgeous. I have Carol Ann at 43. 
Yes, we are, Michelle. Isn't that, that's like, but you know what? It beats pushing up daisies. Absolutely. There's a hair stuck on the sticker. Yeah, it's so, so pretty. Fenton, um, you can't beat Fenton fairy lamps. Um, I don't know. It doesn't have a date on it. It's not dated. It just has the artist's signature on it, and that's it. Okay, Cindy J is out. Uh, Pamela is out. So we have um, Carol Ann at 43. Um, it is, I'm sorry, I forgot to do measurements. It is five inches tall. Five inches tall. Uh, so right now we are at $43. And I am going to call it because I don't see any further interest. Um, so we are going once. Oh, I've seen those. They are, they are gorgeous. Yes, I have seen those. Um, I want, I want one of the snowmen ones. That's what I want. All right, so we are sold to Carol Ann for $43. Thank you very much, Carol Ann. All right. All righty. Okay, let me move this aside. Put it over there with the sold stuff. All right. Okay, next I have, this is beautiful, and this is made by a company called Tailored Tiles. And it is this gorgeous bunny planter Look at him. How pretty is this? It's bisque. Absolutely beautiful. And let me give you the measurements. He stands seven inches tall by six and a half inches long. So, so pretty. He's got a little, uh, a little beauty mark <laughs> on his cheek there. Um, but he is $14, number 29. $14, number 29. Beautiful, beautiful piece. I love it. All right, so Anita, uh, have you emailed me your information? I have to have that prior to um, you being able to um, offer or take part in the sale. Okay, all right, thank you so much. So that was number 29. Uh, let's see. All right. Okay, next I have, I think this is really cool. Um, I believe it might have had another piece that goes to it. 
I don't know if it like maybe came with a cup or something, but it is this, this is a Starbucks piece. And it's a little bunny in a bowl. This is from 2007. And it's just so cute. Absolutely adorable. So I threw some of these little um, twine eggs that I that I made in here. And I just think it looks really cute. The eggs come with it. It's um, $12 and it's number 35. $12, number 35 for the Starbucks bowl. And I see, hang on, my chat is way behind here. Do you tell people to watch for my messages for your email? Oh, yes. Um, KC ATX will be uh, putting my email information in the chat. So you just have to watch the chat so you know where to email your information to. All right, so that goes to Shirley Pearl. Thank you, Miss Shirley. Uh, here it is. All right. Uh, next up, I have, this is really adorable. This, look at this bunny basket. How cute is this? <laughs> a bunny in a hot tub, I know, right? Can you imagine eating soup out of that and looking at the bunny, looking at you? <laughs> like, excuse me, um, can I get some? This is so cute. Look at the handle. Just really um, rustic. This would look cute filled with Easter eggs. Absolutely adorable. Oh, look at there's my <laughs> my uh, Salvation Army tag that I left on there. <laughs> Anyways, this little guy is going to be um, $8, number 41. $8, number 41. Hello. Yeah, well. Oh, why is my chat like that? Would egg drop soup offend him? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, thank you very much, Anita. Gotta get my boy some tuna. Gotta go get him. Huh? Oh, my God. He Poor just boy. is. All right. I see Cheryl Hoskins for number 41. Thank you, Cheryl. Cute. Very cute. Yeah, usually when I keep things, whoops, I gotta, sorry, I gotta put my, uh, my charger on my phone. Uh, usually when I keep things for myself, sometimes I don't take the stickers off. <laughs> oh. Yep, I should be okay now. That's because my uh, low bat, yeah, my low battery thing popped on the screen. That's why I froze. Jesus, I can't even turn around in here. Yes, I know. Well, that stuff's going to stay there till I do my haul video. And boy, do I got a haul video for you guys. Oh my goodness. My living room is loaded with stuff. I just have to, maybe I'll film it after I get done with the sale because I have stuff from two Salvation Armies, a Goodwill, and an antique store. Huh. Two Salvation Armies? Yeah, I went to North Tonawanda yesterday. Oh, look at you venturing. Yeah, that's because I don't have to drive on the thruway. I could go down River Road. Yeah, but you were complaining about Ransomville and that estate sale, and that's definitely just straight up country. Right? Oh, yes. And I am going to this, oh, my God, you guys. This estate sale. Meow. 
That starts Friday. It's Friday and Saturday. Nothing but vintage and antiques. I cannot wait. It starts at 8 o'clock in the morning Friday. So that's going to be amazing. Did I say NC? What's NC? Oh, uh, no, Binks is over there on the floor. Yep, he's over there. Well, the only thing that I can think of that NC is would be North Carolina. Well, but yeah. said North Tonawanda, so maybe. North Tonawanda, New York. Yeah, I can't, um, Poodle, that's why I, I don't drive throughway. It's like, it's like I have a phobia. I, I can't do it because I'll have anxiety attacks. Serious question, though. Did you drive it when you were younger? Yeah. So yes, I like did. A, this was like a as new, I got a as I got older, I got more um, afraid. When you're younger, you don't you don't ever think about like death or dying or you know in a car crash or anything like that. When you're young, you know what I mean. I think about that. Oh, do you? Well, yeah. now you do since the nope, since you got teeth. Oh. Too. Yeah, I can't, I just can't do it. And I, and I think the reason is because when you're going at that high rate of speed, you really have no control over your vehicle if you get hit or if your tire blows out or something like that. Whereas if you're only driving like 35, 40, you have a better chance of having control over your car, okay? Okay. And it's not me I'm worried about. It's all the other nutcases that are out on the thruway driving like lunatics. So, <laughs> yeah. So, I don't I don't drive thruway at all. Okay. My nose is running again, so pardon me as I wipe my nose. Oh my gosh. It's always it's always this left nostril that constantly is running. Makes no sense. Oh my God, I could never, I could, oh my God. When, when I went to California, um, when me and my daughter went to my aunt and uncle's, I had to take anxiety pills before I got in the car with him, okay? <laughs> and I had to wear a Depends because I thought I was going to die every time we were on the thruway. No, oh no. And then the motorcycles. They don't have to wear helmets and they drive in between the lanes of cars. I said, are you crazy? Maxie. Holy shit. How can you drive motorcyclists in be between the lanes of cars and then cut in and out? Are you like playing Russian roulette? You have to be. No way. No. Honest to God, Cheryl, it is it is ridiculous. What are you talking about, California? Yes. How I had to wear a Depends and take anxiety pills before I got in the car with Uncle Mark. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh. All right. Moving on. Because <laughs> I still have quite a bit of stuff here. All right. Next I have... Um, this adorable little bunny basket, look at it. It's got a little, a little scene on the inside. How cute is that? He's got little overalls on. There's flowers on the handle. Look at him. Is he not absolutely adorable? Oh, no, no way, Maria. I, I don't know how you do it. Um, this is absolutely adorable. Um, no cracks. No. Oh, no, I lied. There's a little chip under here, under his hat, but you don't really see it, but I can touch that up. Not an issue. Um, but I don't see any other problems anywhere. Um, he's not marked. I don't know who makes them, but he is just too cute. He's $12 and he's number two. $12, number two. Carol, you you have to refresh or something because you typed in number 45 and 
Number 45 was, did I even do number 45? Number 45 was sold a long time ago. Um, so this goes to Leona Muscato. Thank you, Leona. Hey, Laura. Number two. Just, I, let me ask you before, do you want this at all? Before I sell it? Part of me says yes, but I also don't know what I would do with it. Well, it's a it's uh, for plants. Yeah. No, just go ahead. Okay. All right. Uh, Yeah, she's, um, I noticed that, and I meant to say something earlier, Carol, but I um, I got sidetracked. Yeah, Carol, I don't know if you're, I don't think, I don't know. You need to close out the video totally and then come back in because something's not right. Or look, if you, if you hover your mouse, depending on where you're at, down towards the bottom, it should show you like the timeline and like, in which the video is in progress. So if you see that you're not like all the way towards the end of the video and you're somewhere yeah. back, just click on it and bring it all the you way You know the forward. red line that's going across yeah. the bottom of the video with the little red dot? Yeah, check that too. All right, this is another awesome piece. Uh, this was an estate sale find actually. Uh, this is uh, Beatrice, Beatrice. Beatrix Potter, which of course we all know is Peter Rabbit. Um, and this was actually um, a Teleflora item. Look at, look at Peter Rabbit. Beautiful flower. Oh, if she is that far behind, she isn't hearing your instructions. Oh yeah, that's true too. Just adorable. I have a piece of foam in there because I had flowers or something in here. But um, and it's an excellent condition. There are no cracks, no chips anywhere. Here is the um, marking on the bottom. Yep, tulips would be perfect in here. Absolutely. Um, so this is going to be $14, number 19. $14, number 19. It does have a little, little bit of paint loss right here, but I can touch that up as well. Now look at his little butt. <laughs> they little tail sticking out. So cute. Um, I see, um, hey, Lucid, what's up, Elizabeth? I see Laura. Vintage Thrifted Treasures for number 19. Thank you very much, Laura. All right. She's like all excited. <laughs> okay. Let me bring these over here. Oh, I got to do another trivia question too. Okay. All right, let's move some stuff this way. All right. It's trivia time. All right, what do we got here? All right. So, um... So this one is a little bit harder, and it's not multiple choice. You have to straight up come up with the answer. So, <laughs> that's not, that's not correct. Um,
All right. This is the question. And it's going to be for this little Easter bunny um, that I made out of polymer clay. This was made a long time ago, like when I first started. Um, but I think he's cute. <laughs> so, uh, let me see. I never even... Okay. What country is most commonly credited with introducing the Easter Bunny to America? What country is credited with introducing the Easter Bunny to America? Um, let me see here. Who do we have? Holy moly. Uh, okay. So the first person I see with the correct answer is Cindy Neal. The answer is Germany. So Cindy, you win this little Easter bunny. <laughs> Yay, congratulations. All right. Okay, I'm going to double check. Let me uh let me refresh and go back in and I'll check. Uh let me see. Uh, no, I see, uh, I see, um, uh, starting from the top, I see Ireland, Sandra S. said Ireland, Cher Fines said UK, and Cindy Neal said Germany. Oh, no, you, I'm wrong. It is Sugar Britches. I'm sorry. I told you guys, I have to go get new glasses. It is sugar britches. My apologies. I'm sorry, Cindy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It is sugar britches. All right. I got it. <laughs> All right. My apologies, everybody. All right. Hey, hello, David Proventure. Sign it? I can't sign it. I don't think. Put the Sharpie on the bottom. Well, yeah, I could, I could just, I'll just put like D or something. I don't remember what year I made it. But, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, next, I have this adorable, um, like, a, I don't know, I guess you could consider it like a little Easter basket, but it's ceramic, and it's got little pink bows. There's purple Easter grass in it. It's really cute. It's made in Taiwan, so it's an older piece. Um, I didn't see any issues with this at all. I don't see any um, any chips or cracks. 
I don't even see any crazing on it. Um, this one's bow needs to be tightened. I know that much. Well, it won't tighten, so. Uh, so this is $12, and it's number 10. Oh, thank you, Cindy. $12, number 10. Circle of Life. Okay. I can see that. Yeah, absolutely. And that goes to... Uh, whoops. Jeffrey Ross. You got it, Jeffrey. Thank you so much. All right. Okay, this is really, really cute. I love this. Look at this. It's actually probably a sugar bowl. But, I mean, how cute is that? It's got carrots for the handles. <laughs> it's not marked, so I don't know who makes it, but I just think it's adorable. It's, um, let's see. It's three and three quarter inches tall. And it's about, oh, five and a half inches long. It's really cute. It's $8 and it's number nine. $8, number nine. No chips, no cracks. Just a real cute piece. Oh, hi, James. I see James Hooker for number nine. Thank you, James. I didn't even see you sneak in. David Provencher. How's it going, David? All right. Okay, next I have, um, this is more of like a resin piece or like a really hard, like, plastic. Look at this bunny. Isn't she a cutie? She's got her little basket of flowers and they have glitter. She's got little flowers on her head. How cute. Very, very adorable. Um, she measures nine inches tall. So she's good size. She's definitely good size. Uh, I have no idea who makes her. This is the bottom. It's like, I don't know. She's light, though, very light. She's not heavy. She is $10, number 44. $10, number 44. Um, I see Michelle Gomez for number 44. Congratulations, Michelle, and thank you very much. Maria Ladybug. <laughs> I saw you this time. It's very hard to see everybody that comes in with the chat going and everything. So if I miss people, I apologize. It's not intentional. All right. Um, let's do this guy. This one is definitely a resin piece. Um, Let's see, how tall is he? He is 12 and a half inches tall. And he is absolutely adorable. He's got his gardening tools, his, his pail, 
Um, I think he, I don't know. He, he's got on, what is that, a towel or something? Looks like it may, might, maybe it's a towel. At first I thought it was a scarf. I'm like, why would he have on a scarf? And he's real cool. He's got that real uh, textured. Uh, it reminds me of, um, it's like pebbly, you know? But he's cool. And it's definitely resin. It's like hard as a rock. I know, isn't he cute? <laughs> so he is $12, number 13. $12, number 13. Oh, there's his tail. I was like, what happened to his tail? All right. I see Cheryl Hoskins. Thank you, Cheryl. Yeah, he's very cute. All righty, let me see here. Um, let's do this, this set. So these were probably by the same mold maker because I am, they're made by two different people. These are homemade ceramic projects. Um, they're made by two different people, but they're from the same um, mold, so to speak. I'm selling these as a pair. I have these two bunnies. Look how cute. <laughs> this one's laying down. Let me show them one at a time. Look at this face. He's adorable. And he is he was made in 1981 by Pat which is my mom's name. And then we have this little guy. He is adorable as well. It's funny because they made the eyes and everything exactly the same. So it's just weird that they were made by two different people, but they like had the same techniques. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, this one... The initials are FMI, but there's no year. So you will get um, both bunnies. Uh, they're $16 for the pair, number 27. $16 for the pair, number 27. <laughs> Okay, I see, um, Sheila, have you sent your information uh, to my email address? Because you have to have sent your information in order to participate in the sale. Oh, Susical, you know Sheila? Okay. All right, thank you very much, Sheila. I appreciate it. So Sheila gets number 27. And it is um, I-S-T-A-T-T. -T. All right. Okay, um, next I have this cute little guy. Look at this. This was a homemade ceramic piece as well. Okay, Susical, thank you. I appreciate that. This is another um, homemade ceramic piece. There's no um, signature or anything on it. He is just adorable. I know, look at those eyes. She did a really great job. Um, he is, or she is oh, uh, about three and a quarter inches tall and he's seven dollars number 34 seven dollars number 34 
so cute. And I see Sandra K. Sandra K for number 34. Thank you, Sandra. Oh, Sandy. Can't you see? I'm in misery. Um, okay. Let's do this, and then I'm going to do another offer up. Okay, so I decided to, I don't know. No, I'm not even bothering with that guy. He's got a busted ear that I didn't notice. Um, this one is, okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, next I have this cute little bunny in his overalls. He's a chunky little bunny. He's been eating too many eggs, I think. No, carrots. Well, he's got an egg and he's got a carrot in his pocket. Maybe that's a turnip. No, or it's... Or a radish. Oh, you know what, guys? Never mind this product. I just realized that this was broken all to crap and re-glued all over the place. Wow, look it. And you bought it. I know. Must not have Never been mind. It. Never mind. Can you throw that in the garbage for oh. me, please? I know. He's a disaster. He's broken all over the place. Poor guy. What a shame. Right. I know. He was cute, too. R.I.P. Bumble. I know, right? R.I.P. Bunny. Okay, so instead we'll do this guy. Um, this is another resin piece, and he is cute. He's a planter. Look at him. He looks like he was carved out of wood. Very, very cute. He is, let's see, how tall are you, Mr. Bunny? Uh, he is seven inches tall. And he is six inches long. I know, right? Look how cute he is. <laughs> he's got a little heart-shaped nose. Um, and as I said, he's a planter. Don't know who makes him, but he's cute. Um, he is $8, and he's number 42. I'm, wait a minute, I'm sorry. He's $10, number 42. $10, number 42. Were you trying to hide from me? What? No. I just put it over there because I didn't hang it up yet. What the hell? Okay. I'm sorry. I'm having issues with my iPad. Okay. I see Michelle Gear for number... No, wait a minute. She had the wrong number. It's Jane Newhouse. I'm sorry, Michelle, you had the wrong number. Jane Newhouse for number 42. Thank you, Jane. All right. Okay. Offer up time. I hate when that happens. What you eating over there? You say stale. What's stale? Crackers. Oh, they probably are. All right. Oh, my daughter's helping with the light. There we go. We have another Fenton custard glass fairy lamp. This is going to start at $20. But it's green. Let me put the, let me, I'll show you it with the candle in it first so you can get the effect. How pretty it is. Look at that. Hey, Linda, what's up? Linda, Linda, listen, Linda. Okay, now let me show you without the candle. 
There it is. Look at that, you guys. I don't know why all of a sudden it might, it's not showing up well. Well, I can see it from here. Well, you can, yeah, but green. there it is. It's so pretty. So, we have um, Jane Newhouse at 28. It, it, hi, Trisha. Did I say hi to you earlier? I can't remember. Hi, Binks. What do you want, dude? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. My daughter watches too much YouTube. <laughs> Linda, Linda, that little boy oh, video. Boy the I know. Cutest. It was funny. Michelle Gomez is at 34. I feel like everybody on planet Earth saw that video. Yeah, they're all laughing about it. <laughs> Sandra K is at, th uh oh, Jane Newhouse is at 36. Deb Riley is out. Thank you for telling me that, Deb. It makes things go faster. Sandra Kay. Oh, Pamela Hammett is at 40. No chips, no cracks or anything on it. Michelle Gomez is out. Jane is out. Sandra's out. So who's in? <laughs> Pamela Hammett has it at $40. So, I guess if there's no other interest. Oh, no, Jill Mozina is still in it at $45. Um, blue oh, is it Poodle? <laughs> Linda, Linda, but wait, Linda. <laughs> that little kid was going to plead his case and he did not care. Uh, so we're at $45. Okay, Pamela said she's out. Go for it, Jill. So, looks like uh, we're going to sell it to Jill for $45. We're going once. Going twice sold to Jill for $45. Congratulations, Jill. You got a beautiful uh, fairy lamp. Hey, Ma, guess what? Hey, what? Her couch is shipped. Oh. What do you mean? I thought you didn't, they... Oh, we found new ones. Oh, you found new ones? Yeah, and they shipped. Oh, yay! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you found new ones already. Yep. Okay. There yeah, we go. Congratulations, Miss Jill. $45. $45 dollars. Dole hairs. All righty. Oh, that's pretty. That's more modern. Nice. But I like the color. And I like the wood on the bottom. Well, of course you like the color. Same color as Winnie the Pooh. Hi. Green? That doesn't look green. It looks gold, like a goldish you color. You literally need glasses. <laughs> it is green. Sorry, guys. It's called Semi Seagrass Green. It, it looks like a greenish brown. Like a, a goldish green? I don't know. No, you need glasses, dog. It, well, you can't green. tell in a picture. It's, it's like this color. Green. Okay, well, it doesn't look that color <laughs> on, in the picture. It doesn't. It doesn't look that, that color in the picture. It no, it doesn't. <sighs> oh, my goodness. Hi, Binksy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyways, obviously I have a uh, big tail on my face. I can't see. And uh, anything else? Not at the moment. Nothing new to report. Nothing new to report. All right. So let's do another trivia question. Ooh, I want to ask one. No. What? You can, but you have to come over here. 
I gotta pick a good one. Oh, I thought they were cards. Oh no, I got trivia off of the internet. Okay, I've never heard of this movie, but. Binks, what the heck are you doing, dude? He's walking on my iPad, he's sticking his ass in my face. All right, give me it. Which one do you wanna do? Um. Wait a minute. Oh, here. Okay. What actor plays the voice of E B E as in Easter, B as in Bunny, E B the Bunny in the movie Hop? I don't even. Well, that's, that's I not never. A I, ne movie. I, I think never that's heard like of a it. DreamWorks. I don't know. Movie. One of those other studios. Uh oh! I don't see anybody. Nobody's answering. Let me let me ask it again. What actor? Hi, Victoria. What actor plays the voice of E. B. the Bunny in the movie Hop? He pop. Oh, we gotta pick something else then. Uh. Someone said Tom Hanks. Nope, it's not Tom Hanks. I love him. I know, I love Tom Hanks. What, there's that new movie out on um, Apple, uh, is it the Apple thing? I don't know. TV? It's a new movie Tom Hanks is in. Tis not Tom Hanks. No, nope. not The Rock. It is not Tom Hanks. Not Ryan Reynolds. Nope. Y'all could Google it at this point. I know, right? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Yep, there we go. Lynn Hampton. Nope. I can see Pamela Hammett. Russell Brand. Oh, okay, yep. Pamela Hammett. Russell Brand. I don't even know who the heck He's this guy is. He's a rock star. He used to be married to Katy Perry, but not anymore because she's with Orlando Bloom, which, uh, in my honest opinion, is a substantial upgrade. <laughs> we love Orlando Bloom. I don't Bloom. follow. You know who Orlando Bloom is? Yes. But I'm saying, I don't follow the stars. I have no idea who's married to who, and I don't give to poops. I don't know if they're married, but they just had a baby. Okay, so the winner of that was, who did we say? Oh, I forgot. It was, um. Lynn Hammett? Someone Hammett? Pamela, Pamela Hammett. Hammett. Oh, I combined Lynn and pa Lynn Hammett. <laughs> Sorry, it's not Linda. Linda Dickerhoff said, "I'm with Jess. Major upgrade." <laughs> All right, so Pamela Hammett. So Pamela, you win this cute little. Um, Did you even show what she won beforehand? No, I forgot. <laughs> Bundle of carrots. It's actually a salt or pepper shaker, but it's all by its lonesome. So I think it still makes a cute little decor piece. So you get. The carrots. Why that bug me? It's trying to cook my pastina. Carrots. Carrot salt, I'm going to put. And it goes to Pamela Hammett. Excuse me, son. Congrats. Off my pants. Not Pamela, but Celeste. I don't know. I saw Pamela Celeste Hammett. was first. I saw Maybe I didn't go that far up. Yeah, maybe she didn't go up far right. enough. Hang on a second. I'm double checking. Binks, get off my pants, bro. Um, mm, mm, mm. Oh, yes. Yep. Yeah, she was up further. Oh, sorry. Okay, sorry. It's Celeste. Oh, thank you. I'm so sorry. Thank you for letting me know. Sorry. Sorry about that. Celeste, you get the carrot. A bundle okay. of carrots. All right. Sorry, guys. Okay. Uh, I have a couple small little items. Little tidbits. Little tidbits. Bits and bobs, if you would. I'm putting it in right now, sugar britches. Sugar Whoops, I screwed up. I have fat 
fingers. All right, here we go. Coming at ya, sugar britches. All right. Um, so next I have, this is really, really old. I have this little lamb figurine. This has got like tons of crazing and I don't know who makes it, but you could tell just by the bottom that it is old. It has um, like a little chippy doodle there. A little chippy doodle. Um, but you could see it has like crazing and some discoloration. See? So it is not perfect, but it is adorable. And it is $7, number 22. $7, number 22. Oh, I see Jeffrey Ross. Jeffrey Ross, number 22. Thank you, sir. All right. Next I have, this is adorable. Look at this. <laughs> there, now we can see it better. Look how cute he is. Or she. He or she only stands uh, about two and, actually no, three inches tall. Three inches tall for this adorable little bunny. $5, number 24. $5, number 24. Um, I started at 11. Okay, who do I see? I see Celeste. You got it, Celeste. What? You hear Banks God. over there yelling? Why are you screaming at me? Because <laughs> he wants some of your ramen. It's Pasquina. Oh, okay, whatever. He wants some. Okay, another little bunny figurine. I have lots of little tchotchkes as far as Easter goes. This one is... Three and three quarter inches tall. Hey, Cindy. What's going on? How are you supposed to shop when people keep stopping by? <laughs> Put do not disturb on your front door. Look at this little guy. He is adorable. Oh, my God. Yep. Yeah. Look Pick how cute. Window. I know. Pick a window, Binks. So he is $6, number 30. $6, number 30. I do have one, Michelle, and um, he's going to be um, a, a prize for a trivia question, and I actually made him. So... Yes, and that goes to Belinda Carroll. Thank you, Belinda. Number 30, Belinda. All right. So I have uh, two, no. I have one offer up item left, and I have four regular items, and I have two items to do trivia questions. So let me take care of, um, okay, I have another, uh, this is another handmade ceramic piece. And this, again, was made by Pat in 1981, who actually made this bunny, 
that went with the set of two. Had I known, I could have included this one with the other two, but I didn't pay any attention. So, my bad. Um, so this was Pat 1981. This bunny, look how cute. I can't believe she didn't make that other one. Because they all are the same, like. Uh, so this bunny stands, oh, uh, almost, it's actually like eight and a quarter inches tall. And he is $10, number 14. $10, number 14. See you later, Tiger. Thanks for coming by. But the other one has a different um, signature on it. It's not the same person. So, uh, all right. Who got that one? Belinda Carroll. Belinda Carroll. All right. And that was number 14. Thank you, Belinda. Let me set him inside of there. Um, all right, let me do another trivia question really quick. All right. Um, oh, this is a tough one. I'm going to save that one for my last item. Let me put a star next to it. All right. Um, okay. So this one is, uh, you just have to come up with the answer. It's not a multiple choice question. Um, according to a recent study, and it will be for this little guy, he is made out of polymer clay as well. <laughs> I made him to put in one of my um, Easter displays, but the display fell apart, so I threw it out and I kept the little, the little chick. All right, so according to a recent study, what part of a chocolate bunny do most Americans eat first? Elderly poodle. <laughs> you got it, elderly poodle. What is it? No, the ears. The ears. Yes, I did make him. Yep. Congrats, Poodle. Or, uh, Poodle, you get the, my little ducky that I made. <laughs> he is so cute. I love him. All right. So we got elderly Poodle for the little ducky. Congratulations. All right. Um, okay, next up. This is really cool. Um, I didn't put a price on this one. I think maybe this was a trivia question as well. All right, next is this plain white little teeny tiny bunny. Look at how cute he is. Just all white bisque. <laughs> he is only two and a half inches tall. And he is three dollars. Number 15. Three dollars. Number 15. <laughs> I know. Isn't he adorable? <laughs> Uh, all right, who do I see? I see Linda Dickerhoff.
for the little tiny bunny. Congrats, Linda. Thank you very much. All right. Okay, uh, let me put this little guy over here, a little duck. All right, so my last regular item is another um, ceramic piece. It was made by, um, the initials say M-I. Um, is there a date? Um, I don't see a date. Uh, actually, it's funny because this was also, this was made by the person that made this bunny. They have the same markings on it. So, we have this little bunny. <laughs> Smelling the little flower, and he's got his, his basket of eggs. He's in great condition, no cracks, no chips, got low eyelashes. Very cute little piece. It is um, about six and three quarter inches tall and about five and a half inches um, wide this way. Right? <laughs> uh, so this little guy is $8, number 43. $8, number 43. And I see Linda Dickerhoff. For number 43. Congrats, Linda. Thank you. All right. Okay. Um, I have another trivia question. And this will be um, for this cute little bunny right here. Hey, Joelle Nadel, how you doing? Uh, he was made in Japan. So, let me pick a question. Um, okay. Okay, um, so here is your question, and it is multiple choice, and we're, we're playing for this little bunny from Japan. Where is the world's largest decorated Easter egg? Is it A, Canada, B, United States, C, Germany, or D, the Ukraine? So you just have to put A, B, C, or D. I'm going to go Germany. So the winner is... Joanne Frise. Joanne Frise. The answer is A, Canada. A, Canada. C-A-N-A-D-A. <laughs> Congratulations, Joanne. Do I have your info, Joanne? I can't remember if I do or not. I think I do, but I'm not positive. Yes, it is Canada. All right, um, I'm going to do my last offer up item. Uh, 
this is, you guys are going to poop your pants, so you better get out your Depends. Yes. Absolutely. Let me cross this out because I had to throw that guy in the garbage. So, okay. All right, just double checking, um, Joanne. I knew uh, your name was familiar, but it depends on the item. Well, let me show you. And this very old, like paper mache bunny, also comes with it. Um, he was 10 cents back when he was bought. Back in the day. Uh, yeah. So he comes with this basket. This is an Ellie Smith Moon and Stars pink basket. You do not see pink very often. So... This basket is going to start at $25. So you guys can put your offers in um, now. Yes, isn't it gorgeous? I mean, it is just beautiful, and it doesn't have any issues at all. It is in perfect condition. I don't see, I don't see any issues. I'm looking. It's got applied handles. Yeah, I don't see anything uh, wrong with this basket at all. It is absolutely amazing. The color is gorgeous. I got to be crazy for not keeping it. <laughs> well, those were the answers I was given when I when I uh, when I got the questions. So that's what answer they said it is. So that's what I'm going by. <laughs> Why is it a different answer? Uh, for the the uh, last question that I did. Oh, the Easter egg one. Yeah. Okay, so we are at sixty dollars, Jill Mozina. Well, I mean, I, I would love it to be the correct answer. Um, oh, sh sh where are you going now? To the house? Yeah, I just kind of want to go oh, open some windows and get some air in there. Okay. Look out, babes. Or don't. That's fine. Hi, Melissa. Okay, $70. Random question. Do you have the dish tablets? Like a dishwasher tablet? Yeah, they're in that little bag on the side. Oh, hi, Kathy. Thank you. Sandra's out. Terry, you're lagging, honey, because the bid is at um, 70. You need to refresh. All right, so $70 is the price to beat. If anybody, oh, you're giving the, you're giving the duck to All in the Attic Treasures Poodle? I'll be back. Okie dokie, have fun. Um, I only have two things left, um, Angela, and they're both, um, going to be, um, given away by a trivia question. 
Leanne Say is at $72. If you're out, please make sure to type in that you're out. Jill is at 77. Oh, okay. Leanne is at 80. Okay, Angela, um, usually um, if you're subscribed to my channel um, and you hit the notification bell, you'll get notified anytime I post a video or go live. Okay, so Jill is at 82. Okay, Leanne is out. Hi, Lorraine. Um, okay, so it looks like. Oh, okay, gotcha. I gotcha. <laughs> um, so it looks like this is going to go to, um, Jill Mozina, I'm going to call it, uh, to Jill for $82, correct? So we are going once, going twice, and we are selling this gorgeous, Pink basket. Oh, I'm going to cry. Oh, bye basket. To Jill Mozina for $82. Oh, my goodness. I forgot to even give you the measurements, Jill. Let me tell you anyway. Um, it is eight and a half inches tall. And it is uh, eight and three quarter inches long. Congratulations. This is an amazing piece. And plus you get this um, paper mache, I believe it is, or some kind of a paper bunny. Oh, did you, Jeffrey? That's pretty wild. All right. Um, I have two more items. Oh, no. I forgot this guy. He's a little... Uh, oh, my God. He is so cute. Um, I don't know if... I don't think I had a price on him. I think I'm just going to do a price on him. Um, let me do... He'll be number... Da, da, da. All right. Okay, next, my last item is this adorable guy. <laughs> He's stuffed. And you can hang him up. He is too cute. He has wire in his ears. So you can bend his, his ears and shape them any way you would like. So, so cute. He's got little flowers in his, in between his ears. So this adorable bunny is $12 and he is number 52. $12, number 52. <laughs> So stinking cute. Uh, Mary H. 
Mary, have you sent me your information? <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Mary H. Thank you very much, Mary. All right. Okay, so my last two items are going to be um, given away by Trivia. So next is this cute little bunny. It's, I think it's resin, but it kind of made, they made it look, um, <clears throat> excuse me. They made it look kind of like paper mache. If you look at it, it kind of looks like it's paper mache. Um... I'm just doing some trivia questions um, to give away these last two items because I have already sold um, all of my other items. You're welcome, Michelle. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. So this cute little bunny actually is um, about, it's seven and three quarter inches tall. So, let me get a question for you guys. Um, okay. So, the question is, and it's multiple choice, where is the world's largest collection of Easter eggs? Is it A, Poland, B, Ukraine, C, Canada, or D, the United States? We have a winner. We have a winner. <laughs> Um, the winner is Polly's Projects. The answer is, oh, no, I'm wrong. No, it is not Paula. I'm sorry. I'm looking at the wrong, um, <laughs> the wrong question. The answer is A, Poland, and the winner is Victoria H. Congratulations, Victoria. You won this adorable little bunny. Yep, Poland. Letter A. So let me write this down. I'm sorry, Paula. <laughs> the... Victoria... H. Congratulations, Victoria. Oh, and I got to write down that uh, Poodle gave the duck to, um, to, what was it? All in the Attic Treasures? Yes, All in the Attic Treasures. That was nice of you, Poodle. Okay, now the last item of my sale today is also a trivia question and it is for this little arrangement that I put together um, in a teacup. I do have to glue this, um, the foam in the bottom of the cup because it's not glued in. Um, but I just thought it has two vintage little bunnies in here. There's one hidden in here and one up here in the top. I did not glue them in. I just stuck them in. They have little picks. So, but this is, uh, the prize for the last question. 
Thank you. I I used to do floral arranging, so I really enjoy making little um little floral arrangements. Okay, so let me get the question. Okie dokie. This is a hard one. Uh, this is multiple choice. What is the name for the traditional Ukrainian craft of egg decorating? Is it A, scratched eggs, B, etched eggs, C, sisanka, or D, partial eggs? So we do have a winner already. So the winner is Tracy Morgan, letter C. Uh, sis, I don't know. It's per, it's if it's Sisanka, it's this is the word right here. I don't know if you pronounce the P or not. You put it all four letters. <laughs> oh, Paula, you are killing me. So, <laughs> Tracy Morgan, you got this cute little um, floral arrangement. So, congratulations. You thought about it, Belinda. <laughs> you guys. All right, floral arrangement. Goes to Tracy Morgan. <laughs> All right. So, um, I, there was only a couple items that didn't sell. Um, if anybody's interested, I had these adorable little Easter egg salt and pepper shakers. I know, right, Pat? Um, these are $8 and they're number 21. For these, $8, number 21. I think these are adorable. Oh, good. I'm glad you came, Cam. And the other item. Oh, I see Leanne say for the salt and pepper shakers. Thank you, Leanne. You got them. Leanne C, I don't know why I want to see, say, oh my God, C, say, say C, no, C, forget it, <laughs> forget it, and the only other, I know it's C, and I don't know why I said say, I have no idea, because I'm losing it, oh my goodness, but, and the only other item that didn't sell is this adorable little chick nightlight. Um, I, the bulb that's in here is, you just slide this piece out. It comes right out and you can change the bulb. Let me get a bulb. I just want to make sure that it works before I send it out. If anybody does um, want it, let me just get a working bulb really quick. If I have one up here. Yes, I do. Let me see. Make sure it works. Let's make sure. Oh, for goodness sakes. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So it goes like this. Oh, there we go. Oh, my God. Sorry. <laughs> Look how 
cute. I have this attached to my phone. That is adorable. So this cute little chick is um, $10 number three. $10 number three. Whoops. <laughs> I'm having all kinds of issues. Uh, Lisa Shields. Lisa Shields gets the, uh, it sold? Who did it sell to? Um, hang on. Oh, shoot. Hang on. I forgot to mark something down. Michelle, okay, it sold. Michelle. Michelle Gomez? I'm sorry. Oh, Michelle Gear. Okay, thank you. Um, you know what happened was is I put it over here with the salt and pepper shakers that didn't sell. So I thought it didn't sell. I apologize for that. I'm sorry, everybody. That was already sold. Oops. Okay, so that one got thrown in the garbage. Who bought the... I'm sorry. I have to ask again because I forgot to mark it down. Who bought the pair of ducks? I hope they're still here. If not, I'll just have to go back and watch the video. I know. I, <laughs> I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Uh, no, those are... No, those are the wrong ones. Those went to Jane Newhouse. Those went to Jane Newhouse. But I have marked on, I have on my paper, number 33, a pair of ducks. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it. No, though I'm sorry, Linda. These were these were sold already. These were sold to um, Jane Newhouse. I had on my sheet another set of ducks. I thought I was talking about these, but I don't see any other ducks. So I must be losing my mind. So never mind. Everything is sold. <laughs> Uh, thank you everybody for coming today. I so appreciate it. Um, of course I have my normal sale on Saturday. Um, I think though, um, I don't know. I think I'm going to hold off. Oh, you're having a sale today, Sandy or Trisha at 3.30 ish. Okay. <laughs> oh. um, I think I'm going to hold off on shipping the stuff from today's sale. Cheryl bought number 35, the two duck figurines. Oh, that's what happened. Number 35, the two duck figurines. That was the Starbucks bunny, but there was something else. Cheryl. Pair. Oh, I know. Okay, I know. Yes. I got it. I got it. The two little yellow ones. I got it. All right. I know why. I didn't see them because I put them inside something. Okay. We're all good to go then. They were these, right, Cheryl? 
Hang on. Where are they? They're here. They are here somewhere. Oh, here they are. Right? Perfect. Got it. Okay. Okay. So that's what I was talking about. Okay. So, if every, is everybody okay with me um, holding off on shipping this stuff until after my sale Saturday? Um, Saturday, I'm probably not going to sell as many items as I normally do. Okay, good. This way it saves on shipping for you guys too, you know? Okay, good. Awesome. All right. All right, everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming today. I really appreciate it. Um, so I'm going to try and do a haul video now <laughs> after I eat lunch because I have a ton of stuff. So thank you for coming, Christy. You're all very welcome. You're very, very welcome. Thank you so much for your purchases. I love you too, Poodle. <laughs> Um, I have your info all in the attic treasures. Okay, then I guess I'm, I, I guess I'm good. Thanks, Peterson. All right, so I will see you guys, um, on Saturday. Um, I will be uploading a haul video, um, hopefully later on today. Thank you, Cheryl. All right, guys, I'm going to head out and get something to eat because my stomach is eating itself. <laughs> Bye, guys.